Hi everyone, welcome back to Wesno's Tech News and Reviews. Today we'll be looking at the Welu heart rate monitor. So this is the visual beat. It's tiny, it's only 10 centimeters by 2.3 centimeters and quite thin as you can see. And it's also feather light at just 18 grams. In this review, we're going to be telling you everything about this HRM. On top of that, we'll also be explaining what your heart rate actually means, why do we measure it, how do we measure it, and how this thing picks up the heart rate so accurately. If you are new to Wesno's tech news and reviews, we talk about the latest tech news. We do brutally honest reviews and share hacks and tricks along the way. Why do people seek heart rate monitors in the first place? By using a heart rate monitor, you can figure out or measure how hard or how intense your heart works during workouts. This intensity is measured in average beats per minute. And when you know these average beats per minute, you can actually target your training to particular heart rate zones. Technically, a heartbeat is a pressure pulse, causing blood to surge and circulate throughout your body. Calculating the pulses per minute can indicate the intensity of a given exercise. The chest strap acts similar to an electrodiogram, aka ECG. The ECG measures the electrical activity of the heart, hence the electrodes on the actual heart rate monitor. So these little things here. And they have to be in contact with your skin. Each heartbeat is associated with corresponding signal phase and characteristics on the ECG. For heart rate measurement, the most important signal phase is the QRS complex that represents the contraction of the ventricles, essentially doing the push of the blood out of the heart. With the Wulu HRM, so the visual beat, you can actually record your ECG anywhere from 1 to 30 minutes. And if you do the actual recording, the central and most usually obvious part of the tracing, in other words, the main spike seen on the ECG line, is the QRS complex. It's a combination of three of the graphical deflections seen on a typical ECG. It corresponds to the depolarization of the right and left ventricles of the human heart and contraction of the large ventricular muscles. So to summarize, this HRM, especially using these electrodes on the back here, when in contact with your skin and preferably close to your heart, it actually, me it actually measures the pulses or the pulsating heart. So basically the actual heart beats or the times when the blood is being pushed out of the heart. It's quite easy to actually use this monitor because you charge it up with a USB cable. The charging time of this little thing takes about two to three hours. So I've managed to do it within about two hours and 45 minutes and this will actually give you a runtime of 40 to 50 hours. The manufacturer claims 48 hours which is quite decent because I've taken it on runs and my runs usually last anywhere between an hour and two hours. So if your run is one hour, you can actually use this heart rate monitor after charging it just once for 48 runs. That's quite a bit. You'll be happy to know that there is a free app that comes along with any of the Willu products. So it's connected via Bluetooth and it's called vHealth. The good thing is you can download it on either iOS or Android phones. So it doesn't matter if you've got a Samsung or an iPhone. Just go to your Google Play Store or the Apple Store, download vHealth app, but make sure that you pair the device not via your Bluetooth settings in the phone, but in the actual vHealth app. The device can store up to 10 sessions. So let's say you've done one run, two runs, 10 runs, then you'll need to actually sync it up with your vHealth app uh, for the data to be transferred from here to your smartphone. If you go past the 10 recordings, then uh, the device will overwrite your last uh, measurements. There are two ways you can actually use the Wellu Visual Beat. So the usual way I'm sure you know is you stick it onto a heart rate strap. So here it is. This is the actual chest strap from Wellu. So we can see it here. It's elastic and it's a generic side. You do have the actual the extender belt here so you can make it shorter, you can make it longer. That's not an issue at all. Now there's no clip on effect here as you would see on the polar strap. Rather it's just a simple slip on. So here it locks in and you can take it off just like that. Simple. 
The electrodes are on the back right here, so they go under your chest muscles. But you obviously know that in order to get this to work, you will need to put some water on top of this. Just maybe put a drop on here and sort of spread it out with your fingers. Because you do need to make sure that the electrodes, in order for them to pass the electrical activity of the heart, they will need to have some moisture on it. Because this side will actually be touching onto your skin, while the actual heart rate monitor will be stuck on there. Let me show you how to do that. So, quite simple, take it on here, and you clip it on like so. Done. Ready to use, ready to slip on. But as I have just mentioned, there are actually two ways of using the Wulu Visual Beat. The second way is very innovative, and I have only seen this in movies. So, you take your heart rate monitor, and you take these disposable electrodes. So, and you simply stick them on the back. They also click in place, boom. And you do the same with the second one. Click it in, there we go. Now all you need to do is go to the edge, tear off the plastic bits, and you actually stick them on yourself. Let me show you an example of what I did just before my run. Please make note that there is a letter R on the actual HRM, here it is, and that means that the R does have to be on the right side of your chest. I hope you found the review of the Wellu Visual Beat Heart Rate Monitor useful. If you have, then drop us a like, and if you want to see more of the same, then you know what to do. Please subscribe by hitting the red button below the video. I'll see you in the next one.